shipping container homes plans and modular prefab design ideas with pictures, loft box 1280. Hello and welcome to today's video. This video brings to you loft box 1280. This is a modern shipping container house designed using two 40 foot shipping containers to create a 1280 plus square foot house. This video covers a complete presentation of dimension floor plans, a cost estimate checklist, and detailed drawings you can download for free to use on your own shipping container house project. Watch to the end of the video for the link to download the floor plans and a cost estimate checklist, to guide you on your container house project. We post weekly videos on custom designed shipping container houses, and design reviews of homes from around the world. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for our inspiring weekly videos. Stay tuned and enjoyed the video. The structure. This 4 bedroom, 1280 plus square foot residence, is made from two recycled 40 foot high cube shipping containers, elevated 2.9 meters above ground and sitting on stone ledges on either side of the building. This is an ingenious way of doubling the size of the house by creating an additional habitable space on the ground level. The design uses high cube containers because they are 300 mm taller than a standard container. This provides an extra foot of ceiling insulation without compromising the headroom of the habitable space. The elevated containers act both as the roof, and as a suspended slab for the first floor astronomically reducing the cost of the house by over 40%. The containers are placed with a 1 meter gap in between to increase the house by an extra 120 square feet of floor space with a very minimal cost variations. The containers are cantilevered at 2 meters on both ends to introduce some dynamism into the design of the house. The floating end of the boxes is transformed into a semi-private Juliet balconies for the master bedroom. All the end panel doors are fitted with full height sliding glass doors. Sliding doors are good space savers compared to swing doors making them ideal to use in a container house. The balconies are fitted with a glass balustrade to create that feel of lightness. The open facades on the ground floor are creatively covered by heavy gauge corrugated steel. Other materials such as, bamboo, plasterboard, timber, or concrete blocks can be used depending on your budget, location and climate. This house design is ideal for a large sized family. If you have some piece of land, this design is a good investment as a guest house or a holiday getaway. You can have it listed on Airbnb and earn some extra income. Salient features. The living areas are housed on the ground floor. This was a deliberate design decision owing to the flexibility the space offers without the restriction of the modular shape of containers. The spaces comprises of, the lounge, dining, kitchen, laundry, and a cloakroom. The privacy gradient increases as you move upwards. All the bedrooms and the family room are accommodated on the first level. On the first floor, we have a master ensuite with walk-in closet, a common bathroom, a children bedroom, a guest bedroom and a family TV area. The first floor is accessed by a handcrafted a wooden staircase. Foundation and modifications. The containers sit on stone ledges to elevate them from moisture. The stone ledges act both as the foundation to carry the containers but also act as enclosing walls for the habitable space on the ground floor. This is an ingenious way of doubling the size of your dream home without breaking a sweat. All that is required is to cover the two open ends and finish the floor. If you live in the tropical climate, the ground floor can be left open to enjoy the cool tropical breezes. Walls of shipping containers are inherently structural and load-bearing. Cutting out too much steel from the walls for doors and windows interferes with the structural integrity and strength of shipping containers. Our design principle is shelter mode homes, we do not cut out the roof and the floor of our shipping container houses. It is very costly to restore the roof and the floor as compared with bracing and reinforcing wall for window and door cutouts. 
apart from the 2.1 meters by 2.4 meters folding door from the family room, the other openings are optimal in size hence have a minimal impact on the structural integrity of the containers. As a sustainable design statement, we suggest leaving the exterior of the shipping container as is, including its original color and markings. This will help to preserve its charm with its history in addition to reducing costs on painting the exterior. Depending on your country, budget, climate and local planning regulations, you can explore other exterior finishes. Outdoor Living Space Apart from the drainage and moisture benefits, the elevated position of the house provides the height necessary to construct a balcony. A 2.5 meter wide canopy is provided on the frontage to create a generous outdoor seating space extending the lounge outdoors. In addition, it also creates a private terrace to the family room on the first level. The terrace is accessed by 2.1 meters by 2.4 meters folding door which greatly extends the compact living space inside a shipping container, and for maximum daylighting, connecting the family room to the outdoors. An additional outdoor dining patio accessed from the dining area, is provided on the ground level. The patio is shaded on one side by a trellis planted with native vines and climbers. Interior Design Ideas To minimize the claustrophobic feel of living in a shipping container, the walls of the living area are finished in monochrome light colored paint. Since this is a container house, consider using similar materials to finish the kitchen backsplash and the bathroom walls, in order to maintain that industrial look. This repetitive theme creates harmony therefore making the house appear bigger. Furniture Design Ideas Fitting furniture into a shipping container home can be a challenge. Most furniture hasn't been designed specifically for such small spaces. Multifunctional transforming furniture and other space-saving essentials, effortlessly transform from one use to another, allowing a single space to perform more than one function. To complement the industrial look of the container, we adopted a minimalist design to make the narrow space feel somewhat spacious. Consider using a vertical wall in bed or a Murphy bed in the children and guest bedrooms. This allows the space to serve both as a children playroom and as a sleeping room. The transition from day space to night zone is quick and simple. Stackable chairs and easy lounge seats are used for the dining and sitting room respectively. Consider exploring other space-saving furniture ideas depending on the space needs in your container home. Consider using flat pack cabinets for the kitchen and the wardrobes. Flat pack cabinets are good alternatives for the kitchen and wardrobe rather than custom units because of cost and quick installation. Flat packs can also be creatively used as space dividers instead of walls. Insulation and temperature control. Shipping containers are made of cork and steel. Steel is a good conductor of heat, therefore, to live in a shipping container home, you need to insulate the exterior walls. Insulation is one of the most important aspects of turning a container into a comfortable home. Without insulation, a container home would be like an oven in summer and freezing in winter. Insulation is also essential to preventing condensation which can corrode the container and form mold. Use spray foam insulation on the walls and ceiling to provide an airtight seal and prevent condensation, if you can afford. In addition, put a layer of earth wool insulation blanket then line it with plasterboard for adequate temperature control. The containers are covered with an elevated corrugated steel roof to guard it from rain and direct sunlight. In addition, the corrugated steel roof is elevated above the container roof to allow for airflow to keep the container interior cool in summer. The roof covers the entire containers with an overhang, above the Juliet balconies shielding the glazed openings in the master bedroom from direct solar radiation. This iconic roof is also a design statement that gives character to the house. If you are planning to use the container roof as is, consider covering the container top with a roof garden planted with native plants and flowers. Design the garden planter in such a way that it sit in a steel frame above the roof of the container, to allow airflow and keep the weight off the non-structural container roof. 
The green roof adds both charm and natural insulation from direct solar gain. It eventually saves money that would have been used on air conditioning. The cost estimates checklist. This cost estimates checklist is to guide you on the items to consider in your own container project. The prices of the items are subject to vary depending on your country, currency exchange rates, taxes, and government regulations. For correct and factual figures, consult the relevant experts in your country. What do you feel about our new house design? If you have any question, feel free to ask by posting in the comments below. If you need further inspiration, check out our other container homes designs such as, Ecobox 160, Ecobox 320, Liftbox 480, Blockbox 640 and Shearbox 640. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to our channel for our weekly videos on shipping container homes. You can download all the plans from our website on the link in the description below. See you in the next video.